Here it is, the King C. Gillette Safety Razor, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTeam.com. I'm back with another video. Wow, I'm really, really excited. I went into my local Walgreens and I found the King C. Gillette Safety Razor. There's been a lot of buzz about this online, especially on Facebook. Up in the, um, the group Midwestern Wet Shavers, they were talking about this. Uh, member Adam was able to score one, and then uh, Jennifer talked about it, as well as uh, David and Mike and Hunter and Raul. And uh, Raul gave me a really, really good tip. He said, even though it might not be listed as being in stock at the store when you go online to Walgreens, if you go in the store physically right there, it might be there on the shelf. And sure enough, I got the last one when I was there this afternoon. Now, my schedule has changed a little bit to where I've been doing some shaving in the evening for benefit of doing some reviews and that sort of thing. And you know what? I didn't shave this morning because I was thinking, well, I'm just going to shave tonight because of the previous schedule of doing some reviews in the evening. It's just a little more advantageous to me. And look at this. I found this and... Uh, you know what, I need a shave, I'm gonna shave. That's absolutely fantastic. So here it is in the box here. We're also gonna be comparing it to the Gillette Heritage that was, that is still on sale on Amazon. So we'll kind of look at these side by side. But if you do go into Walgreens, know that there is a display there, a King C Gillette display, at least at mine there was. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same at all Walgreens. And the display has this same color motif, same design motif. And there are a lot of cartridge uh, razor systems there that say King C, that say King C Gillette on them. And this is right there in the mix, so you really have to look carefully for it. Now, everything stands up like this on the display shelves, and I could not find one standing up. Well, that's because it was the last one and it was down on, on its back like this, and I almost missed seeing it. But I spotted it, grabbed it, I was so excited. I also got five razor blades thinking that it probably doesn't come with razor blades because Adam on Facebook posted a picture of what he, of what he purchased, which was the razor and some blades. But on the carton, it does say one razor, five blades right there. Okay, so we're gonna crack this guy open and have a shave with it. Now I'm gonna forego all the splashy graphics that I usually do in my videos because I wanna get this shave recorded, reviewed, and I want to get it posted as soon as possible. So uh, the editing process does add time, so I'm not going to do any of that fancy stuff. Just drop in a little music, a title card, and boom, we're going. Uh, and we're going to do the shave and actually look at this razor. razor. Um, okay, so I am going to use Tabak, right? I'm going to use my Peregrino uh, shaving brush from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I'm using this because it's got that great retro look from the 40s and 50s, kind of fits in with a Gillette safety razor, vintage kind of a flavor kind of a thing. Uh, Shash Allen Block, finish it off with some Pinot Clubman, haven't used this guy in a while. And also for upstairs, something new, Nivea Body Shaving. Uh, this is good stuff, this is really, really good. Uh, viewer Magnus Crone recommended this. I like this a lot, I bought it uh, on Amazon. So I'll have a link to this too, if, you, if you're looking for a really good and nice balm uh, for aftershave. Um, and it's uh, recommended for body shaving, so you can use it face, head, body, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm also going to use this uh, for my pre-shave, the, the cube, the cube from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements right here. Just did a review on this and another item, uh, and that's going to, that's slated to go Saturday morning, May 16th. So, uh, uh, more about that in that review, but just know that it has activated charcoal in it and it's the similar, same ingredients as Formula CK6, but so boy, does it make for a great pre-shave. Comes in menthol and non-menthol. I have the menthol, uh, absolutely fantastic. Love it a lot. Look for that review. So um, that'll be, well, let's see, if I air this Friday night, that'll be Saturday morning. So just so you know, so let's, let's do this. Let's, I'm so excited. Let's get this, some hot water on top of the Tabak. Let that soak in a little bit. Like that. Let's get that going because I haven't used it in a while. And let me take my brush and let it soak in there. Now while that tabak is so softening up and the brush is soaking, let's look at the razor. Okay, so here it, it comes with a couple of 
taped. It comes taped like this in the box. This is all it is. Just this, just the box like this. So we're going to open that up. Do it like that, and it says King. It says King C. Gillette, all the way around. Has his signature there, King C. Gillette. Uh, one double, one double edge safety razor, five razor blades. It has this great gold and blue look to it, and the razor appears to be gold in the photograph. I don't know. So here we go, King C. Gillette. Okay, there it is. Ooh, check that out. Okay, so there it is. It's cradled in there like that. Look at that. That's <laughs> that's rather nice. Okay, the blades appear to be in the bottom here, right here. I'm gonna pull those out. And they say King C. Gillette there as well. Okay. So that's kind of neat. And it's a little, it's a it's a five-blade tuck. Okay, we're gonna open that up in the back. It's not plastic, it's, it's paper tuck. Wow, that, boy, that it just comes right out. That's nice. Really, really has some nice chroming to it. And it also has a King C. Gillette logo right there on the top, if you can see that there. Okay, really nice heavyweight handle, beautiful. And uh, we're gonna just unscrew this. Wow, that's nice. That's a nice weighted handle. That really, really is. It has, uh, I wanna say it's a barbershop pole uh, knurling right here because there it does seem to have that. It's a very, very tight, Barber, shawl, barber pole type knurling right there. But uh, it's only about uh, halfway down the handle and the rest of it is smooth. Um, here is the razor head right here. Razor head looks very reminiscent of something you would see in an Edwin Jagger or a, or a Mula or a Merker. And it has a little bit of information here, right here, where it says, uh, it's in German. Okay, can you see that? It's in German and English. Right there, okay. So it says, uh, please read manual and remove paper before use. Okay, obviously, right? Well, some people don't know if they don't, they never use a safety razor, so we're gonna pull that out. I'm gonna pull that out right like that. So it's just a little, just a thin little piece of paper. And there is the uh, threaded stud with two round posts. That's nice, that's really, really nice. Very, very nice. Let's take a look and see what it looks like uh, next to the Gillette Heritage. Okay, so there's the, the King C. Gillette razor. And here, you know, here, the Gillette Heritage has a little more upscale clam shell case, obviously. And uh, as I understand it, Mantic 59 did an in-depth detailed report on this of the the razor head was made in Germany and the handle was made in the United States. Uh, you know what? It could be the same razor head on here that is on the King C. Gillette. Okay, so you can see that the King C. Gillette is longer, but uh, doggone if that razor head doesn't look the same, doesn't it? It sure does look the same, top and bottom. Look at that. Profile seems to be the same too, isn't it? Yeah, looks the same to me. I don't know, the shave will tell. So I recall the Gillette Heritage was a really nice mild shave. Very, very mild and very, very efficient, very, very smooth. Really, really nice. This is definitely heavier. This has got more heft to it than the, uh, than the Heritage. Heritage seems to be, uh, the weight seems to be go, seems to go towards the uh, the head of the razor, whereas this one definitely has the majority of weight in the handle. But uh, I like that, and I think that's going to make for a really nice shave because the razor is going to do all the work uh, with that added weight. But it, it really is a stunningly beautiful looking razor. It is beautifully, beautifully chromed. I like the, uh, the logo on there in the top. I think it's a really nice touch. And I like the, the knurling, the barbershop knurling. Now, someone told me, I don't know who, um, you get a good grip with a barbershop knurling if uh, you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, not so much because of the way it spirals. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, it seems to be a good grip in my right hand. So, man, I'm looking forward to using this. Okay, so let me just put this away here and uh, just get that out of the way. And I'll set that over there. 
then I'll set the box out of the way as well. And we might as well look at the uh, spare blades here and see how these come packaged. Uh, because I did buy them, so we might as well look at those and see uh, you know, how much is packaging, how much is blade, that sort of thing. Oh, wow, what did I, what did I buy here? I bought 10 blades, so there are two tucks of five in there. There and there. And that's kind of nice. Okay, good. So you just, and then you just pull them out. Just like, they're on like a little shelf of their own. Just pull them out like that. That's nice. It's a nice little touch. I like that. I like the packaging. The packaging is very, very attractive. And if you were to wrap this, if you were to wrap this up, you know, gift wrap this, it would be a nice gift for someone. Really nice gift. I, I like it a lot. All right. Okay, so here, let's, uh, let's load up the razor blade right now with the, uh, with the blade. Now, the uh, Gillette Heritage, forgot to mention, comes with Gillette Platinum Blades. So uh, let's see how the King C Gillette blade stacks up. It's in a single wrapper here. And it has King C Gillette uh, fine grooming since 1901 uh, right there on one side of the blade. Can you see that? King C Gillette fine grooming since 1901. Okay, so that's what it says there. That's nice. So we're going to go ahead and load that blade. I'm going to load it right there like that. Okay, and see what the alignment's like. Now the blade seemed to fall in there rather snugly. Snugly? In a rather snug way. Seems to be snug. Okay. All right, now blade alignment and blade balance seems to be spot on. End tabs are very nearly enclosed. I mean, there is just a little bit there. They're not sticking way out. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. They're not entirely closed, but there's just, just a little bit, if you can see that. Just a little bit there you can feel right there. But that's nothing that's going to tag you if you're flipping it or you're, a, or you're beginning wet shaver. Uh, beginner wet shaver, you know, flipping it back and forth. Maybe you'll tag your nostril or your your earlobe, something like that. That's nice, boy. It's a it's got nice weight, has a nice feel. I like the rounded bottom of uh, of the handle there. That's a nice change from a lot of other razors. Really, really, very, very nice. All right, so uh, let me get this water here and get right to the shave. I'm going to dump that in there. I'm going to throw some water on my face to get some pre-shave, make a lather. I'm going to shave with this King C Gillette razor right now. Had a really, really nice, nice hot shower. Washed my hands, all that good stuff. Here's the cube. You use it against the grain. Just Put a little bit on like that, and then when you first put it on, when you first put it on, uh, you'll see a little, little gray tone to it. Work it in, the menthol will start kicking in, and you'll start seeing a white cream there. Great pre-shave soap. As I say, I did an in-depth review of this, and uh, gonna get that posted Saturday morning. Let me wipe off my hands here. Let me get my Peregrino brush. Been loving this brush. This brush has been absolutely wonderful. Okay, so here we go. Just going to get a little bit of, do a brush load here. I'm going to have to go a little more. I've been using the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, C, Formula CK6, and uh, it really loads quickly and lathers very, very rapidly. Um, so I have to do just a little more with the uh, Tabak here, although Tabak is just great stuff. I like Tabak. It's just great. This is a, a good size brush for this bowl here. 
Uh, it's a 24 millimeter knot, so fits nicely in the bowl there. And you can see I got a I got a nice nice load now. It's creaming up around the sides of the of the bowl, which is what I like to see before I start doing the face lather. So this combined with the pre-shave, I'm gonna make for a great lather. And oh boy, is that great. Oh yeah, that's nice. You know, when you go away from Tabak and you come back to it, it's just, you know, it's like an old friend. I guess it's because it's one of the first uh, shave soaps that really perform well for me. Now, the other, so the other shave soaps I've been using are uh, Sterling's very good. Again, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, shave soaps with formula CK6 are phenomenal. They really are. And I know coming back to them is like coming back to an old friend, too. I mean, it's, wet shaving is great. And you know what's interesting is that I got the last King C. Gillette safety razor in that store. Now, that tells you something. People must be snapping them up. Okay, wow, that's fantastic carpet of lather. Really lathered up well. The uh, pre-shave is doing its job. That menthol is kicking in. It's wonderful. I'm gonna get some hot, hot water. Run this razor under there. It seems to be very, very secure. Doesn't look like it's gonna loosen up at all. All right, run it under some hot water. Heat that puppy up. Give it a couple swirls and the sink water there to just bring it to the proper temperature. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Very smooth and mild. Yeah, <laughs> a nice, smooth, mild razor. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, I'm in, I'm impressed. I really am. My guess is I have to do something. I have to do a shave side by side uh, with the uh, Gillette Heritage just to kind of compare. But I'll I'll bet this is the same razor head. Nice blade, really, really very, very smooth. I don't know if they're coated with uh, a chromium polymer coating of some kind, but it's a very, very smooth, smooth shave. They're gonna sell a lot of these. <laughs> they're gonna sell a lot of these. Yeah, they are. First pass done, let's rinse. Okay, one rinse. <laughs> oh yeah, I just, yeah, okay. So I got it over there a little bit. Should have rinsed twice, but hey, it's wet shaving, right? Okay, let's lather up for pass number two. I got plenty on the brush. I'm still feeling the menthol, which is great. Yeah, Tabak is uh, fantastic. Really a favorite. But, you know, thanks to all the viewers out there who told me Sterling and Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I know that a lot of, and, I, and there are a lot of other suggestions out there from artists and soap makers. There's a lot out there, which is absolutely great. As I say, this is the best time to be doing the traditional wet shave. There is so much available. That's what's so great. And look, Gillette saw an uptick in that market. And they got a couple of razors out. Safety razors, that is. Okay. 
And I know I've heard the arguments about how they just about kill the safety razor market. But, you know, there has been a real spirit and commitment among a lot of artisan soap makers and other suppliers out there that really kept this great wet shave, traditional wet shave tradition alive. Thank you. Because, uh, really, you guys have done all the heavy lifting, and I appreciate that. It brought me back to a great way to do a shave, that's for sure. Pass number two, east to west, across the grain. This is really smooth. Really, really nice. And you might hear my neighbor's dog out there. Sorry about that. You might also hear some rainfall because we got a flash flood warning in effect. So if you hear some thunder or heavy rain, ask what's going on. Very, very smooth. I, I'm really impressed by how smooth this is, really. Boy, that's, that's terrific. That really is. You know what? If you're kind of sitting on the fence, get one, really. It really is a very nice, smooth razor. It's toward the mild side, no doubt about it, but it's, it has a nice efficiency to it. But you have to understand also that I like mild razors, neutral to mild. Now, there are some out there who might find this to be too mild, no doubt about it. Especially if you like an adjustable razor, say, from 1 to 9 and you're shaving at 8. <laughs> well, this would probably be too mild for you. But I like mild razors. I mean, I use an aggressive razor every once in a while. Kind of change things up. But, yeah, mild for me. Boy, second pass done. That was nice and smooth. Let's rinse. You know, for all practical purposes, I'm done with this shave, really. Two passes and I'm done. That's usually how I am. The second pass is usually my money pass. But I'm doing a third pass because I want to see how this does. Doing it against the grain pass. I want to see how it handles. I want to give you a full report. And so far, the weight has been wonderful. I like the weight. I like the balance. I haven't had any trouble finding the correct angle uh, for the blade uh, to actually shave. Uh, uh, very easy to find. You know, I always say 30 degrees. Light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. You know. It's right in there, and it's just, I really like it. It's, it really has a nice look to it. I like the, uh, the knurling here. This is giving me a good grip. It really is. It really giving me a nice, nice grip. And there is a, a nice elegance to it. It really does have, well, the reason why I'm using Tabak and the Peregrino and the Clubman is because it's the razor has that feeling of a bygone era, uh, the 40s, the 50s, the uh, the turn of the last century. It really does have that look and feel to it. But I said, but again, it's beautifully chromed, beautifully, beautifully chromed. I mean, it really it just shines. There's a really nice shine and luster to it. Really, really, and not overly so to where it's like looks like looks cheap. It doesn't look cheap. It looks very, very refined. I'll bet you if they put this in a an upscale box, like a clam, like a clamshell case, like the like the Heritage, I bet you they would probably charge another twenty bucks for it. That's how good it looks. Um, really, just a guess on my part. All right, so we're gonna go with pass number three, south to north against the grain. Oh yeah, this is nice. Get one. <laughs> Get one. These are, this is nice. It feels so nice here because in the against the grain pass, 
Uh, even though my thumb is right about here on the smooth part, the other two fingers are just gripping that knurling there, and that's giving me more than enough grip to do an against the grain pass and have a sure hold of the handle. I think if they had done this, this knurling all the way down, it wouldn't look that well. It might have been a little more effective, but not by much. Uh, I like the knurling. And I, I like the fact that it is half knurled, half smooth. I really do. I think that's really a nice, that's nice, it's a nice touch. I really like it. All right. Very, very nice third pass. Third pass done, let's rinse. That was nice. <laughs> that was a nice shave. Really, really nice. Boy, I mean, there was just very smooth, very mild, very efficient. I mean, it's a nice, enjoyable shave. Now, well, you know what? Let me do my two final rinses and we'll talk, okay? Here's my warm water rinse. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over to cold water. Here's my cold water rinse, and this is gonna, I'm gonna get a good menthol kick from this because of the, the cube. The Phoenix Shaving Cube. It's got menthol in it. This is a great feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I did a couple, couple extra splashes there because it feels so great. That menthol just kicks in with that cold water. Fantastic. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. In my excitement to wrap up these shades and talk about how great they were, and I sometimes might miss a little cream or something. As I'm playing the video back, I'm like, hey, Mark, you missed that. Can we, would you wipe your... Would you wipe your brow there? Would you get it off your neck, for gosh sakes? So, looks like I got everything. Nice menthol kick. Great slickness from the Cube and Talbach. Um, really a nice, nice shave. Very nice. Okay, the Shash Allen block will tell the tale. Now, you know what? I've had this for the longest time and it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I got an Osma Allen block waiting in the wings, but this thing just keeps going and going and going because it's cut from a, a solid piece of, a, so, a larger solid piece of Allen. So that's why I, I still have it. It's going great. All right, so running under some cold water and here we go. Smooth as ice, no stings, no zings. Very, very nice. That's, that's terrific. That really is terrific. Okay. I'm just going to give my brush a, a quick rinse here and then we'll hit the uh, aftershave and some other things. I want to talk about the razor. I'm sure you want to hear my final conclusion. So I'm just going to just rinse this quickly here a little bit, get some of that soap out of there. And you know what? I'll clean the rest of that later um, You know when I have a chance uh, because I want to uh, get right to the aftershave. That's long enough. And, uh, but I do want to rinse out some of that soap. Okay, Clubman, here we go. Boy, I haven't had, ooh, this is nice.
classic synth. Wow, that's great. That's, that's fantastic. Wow, love this stuff. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, Nivea. Nivea Men Body Shaving. Soothing aftershave lotion. Put a little bit up there. I just did, you know what? I just did one pump. I forgot to show you how much. Just one pump is all I needed. And seems to absorb nicely. Has the same great Nivea scent that, uh, that you may be familiar with using their other aftershave balm. that come in those milk white bottles. Great shade, absolutely great. Boy, this razor, this razor is wonderful. This is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful razor. It has really, really nice weight. It's a mild shade. I would say on a scale of one to five, it's probably a 2.5, 2.75, somewhere in there. I don't think it's lower than 2.5, and I don't think it's higher than 2.75. I think it's right in that area there. Um, love the weight, love the knurling on the handle. Again, it's got a barber, barber pole pattern to this knurling. Uh, and you know what, correct me if I'm wrong, but as I understand it, if you have a barber pole pattern, it favors right hand wet shavers. Uh, if you use a left hand, maybe not so much, but someone correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I read that someplace. But for me, being a right-handed hand, right -handed wet shaver, this knurling was terrific, even though half of the handle uh, is smooth. Uh, I had no problem grasping this razor at all. I like the weight of it. I love the, uh, the design of the, um, the logo on top here with, well, let me see which side is up here. King C. Gillette. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, that's it right there, King C. Gillette. Love that, that's a really nice touch. It has a masculine yet elegant look to it. Really, I mean really, when you look at this, it just, it, there is a degree of elegance there, but there's also a degree of manliness there too. It's terrific. Now, I don't know how this is gonna be for a head shave because um, at times when I do uh, the back of my neck, I tend to grasp here at the uh, end of the handle. And of course this is smooth. So I might, I might have to adjust by choking up on it a little bit. But again, the, the knurling on the handle, absolutely no problem. The shave was really, really smooth. The blade was wonderfully smooth. And I also had the advantage of using the uh, Cube pre-shave. But you know what? I think the Formula CK6 also helps and I've got Tombok there too. So in other words, I did the proper prep. So, you know, that falls in with the equation as well. So if you do the proper prep, you're gonna get a great shave with this razor. You, if you do the proper prep, you're gonna get a great wet shave with just about any razor out there. Let's face it, I mean, any other high-end razor, let's say. And what was this? I forgot to look at the, uh, the receipt. I think this was what, like 30 bucks? Was that what that was? I, you know what? <laughs> I'm a guy, I go in and I see something and I buy it. And then, you know, I, I, I'm famous for going through grocery stores or, you know, a Sam's Club or something and having something on my cart and someone, you know, ordinarily a, a woman will ask me, oh, where did you find those? I said, well, they're over in that aisle over there. Oh my gosh, how much were they? I don't know. You don't, you didn't check the price? I, no, I just, you know, I just see, grab, buy. Ooh, that's me. I, mean, <laughs> I think it's a guy thing, I don't know. So I gotta check the receipt and see how much this was. But um, I think it was like $29.95, something like that. Worth the price. Worth the price, yes. Go get one. I would highly recommend it. I, I really do. It's a nice, mild, smooth shave. The blades are nice. And I'm gonna, I'd like to do a comparison shave with this and the Gillette Heritage and see how they stack up with one another. But yeah, like the weight, love the razor head, love the blade. Love the overall design of it. The chroming is beautiful. It really is a very well-made razor. It looks terrific. So you know what? As I say, get to your Walgreens, local Walgreens, and grab one of these. And as Raul said, uh, Raul, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. As Raul said up on Facebook, if you go online to your Walgreens store 
and see if it's in stock at the store, that's not accurate. You have to walk into the store and actually go to the display there. And when you go to the display, take your time looking it over because this kind of blends in with everything else they have. There. They have cartridge razors with the King C Gillette logo and packaging as well as cartridge blades and safety razor blades and some other uh, wet shaving care products. Uh, I couldn't, I don't recall exactly what was there and I forgot to take a picture of it because I was so excited. I found the last one on the shelf. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, and I took a picture of that, posted on Facebook that I scored. I was really, really happy. So my thanks to everybody on Facebook at Midwestern Wet Shavers Group for kind of guiding me through the process and getting this. Thank you, Raul. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, David. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Hunter. Thank, thank you, everyone. Who, uh, and Tim, thanks to everyone. Uh, because uh, you know what? I had a great shave. And uh, as soon as I turn this camera off, I'm going to do a couple quick edits and upload this, and hopefully this will be up, uh, well, you know, fairly soon. Fairly, hopefully the internet is, is going quickly in my neighborhood. That's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Um, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out the Executive Shaping Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out phoenixartsandaccoutrements.com, phoenixshaving.com. They got some great, great shaving gear. Love that company. Uh, check out that review uh, on the Cube and one other great product, Saturday morning. Um, what else? Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready where you'll find uh, all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Great razor, really, really. Get to your Walgreens and get one. It really is worth the price. Thanks again very, very much for, uh, for tuning in. Thank you again for tuning in. <laughs> I'll see you again real soon.